Tonight, me and Todd get the backstory on the Independent Film Festival in Akron, and we're going to share it with you here on Artist Reality. Stay tuned. Hey, everybody. This is Todd B. We're coming to you from the Red Light Galleries, but tonight we have a full studio of all sorts of exciting guests, all coming to you from the Akron Independent Film Festival. I'm sitting here with... Jay. Everybody knows Jay from the show. And this is? Artist Reality. Fantastic. Who's so sitting next to you? a full set of people. We're about to go around the room. Everyone's going to introduce themselves and tell you what they're doing. Fantastic. I'm Rob Lucas. I'm the Director of Operations for the Akron Independent Film Festival. I'm Sarah Lucas. I'm the Director of Finance for the festival. I'm Mike Honick. I'm the Executive Director for the film festival. And Steve Felix, Director of Marketing. Wait, there's someone else there. Uh, <laughs> I'm Kendra. I'm Director of Arts Education and Outreach. So what are you guys doing here tonight? That's a fantastic question. Um, <laughs> we want everyone to know about the festival. so We've come to beg for your attendance. Oh, yes. Awesome. Your attention. And your attention. What's, what's special about the festival this year? I think the question is what isn't special. Okay. Special. Special, special about the fest What isn't special about the festival this year? Well, we are taking a major step forward and, and throwing caution to the wind, and we are now our very own organization, and we're gonna we're gonna rock Akron socks with with our fine array of films and and um, workshops and goings on. This year, one of the biggest things about the festival is that we're going to have three different educational programs, three different workshops. One's going to be on Super 8. We're going to have another one on lighting. We're going to have another one on screenwriting. On top of that, we're going to have a 48-hour film challenge where filmmakers will have the chance to um, meet on a, is it a Thursday? Friday. Friday. They're going to meet on Friday. They're going to shoot till Sunday. And then Sunday, we're going to screen the movies and present an award. And those are two different things, the workshops and the 48-hour program are two new parts of the festival this year, something we never really had before. And one of our goals really now is to not just show movies, which we've always done, but to also help bring together local artists, bring together local filmmakers to uh, talk about films, to make films, and to, um, to network together so that we can kind of work more of as a community than just kind of be people sitting in a dark room watching movies together. I totally dig that, and in fact, you guys are going to have to watch out because there's going to be a Jay and Todd submission this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Festival. Fantastic. We are going to rock it out. So, so when is the <laughs> festival? It's April 3rd through yes. the 6th. Yes, 3rd through the 6th. And it's at the Bang and the Clatter this year. Previous years we had it at the University of Akron. but. Okay, so 3rd through the 6th at the Bang and the Clatter. Bang and the Clatter is inside the Summit Art, art space, space, which is... 140 East Market Street, right behind the Art Museum. So Excellent. Right downtown. And you guys have a website? Oh, we yes, do. AkronFilmFestival.com. Awesome. Is there a phone number people can call? There, there are many phone numbers. You can call our cell phones, basically. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we want that, <laughs> 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 we want that on the no, YouTube, though. That, uh, I don't you trust don't, the millions You don't want people. us to put it right here under you? No. Call for yeah. Email is film. great. Info at AkronFilmFestival.com. Yeah, that's the best What was that? Way. Email info at AkronFilmFestival.com. Okay, cool. We'll pop that up right no, that would be better. here. We and have, we've had 50 hours of submissions and it's probably close to four times what we've had before right? yes it's very close to four times what we we've had when we were uh, still at the university and it's been um it's been an enlightening experience to see what everybody's doing around the area and, and around the world really we've gotten submissions from japan and uh, wow. the former soviet union as the package for the dvd said you're and, kidding no and and india as well See, In now, Argentina. I was looking at this as In more Argentina. of like a, Argentina as well. I was looking at this whole thing as it would be an Akron event with Akron filmmakers and artists, but no, this is everywhere. Every it's a worldwide it's, event. Well, we've been, before I, when we first created the festival, we were accepting <coughs> almost exclusively movies from Ohio. Um, and it just gets to a certain point where there are movies made here, but there aren't quite as many as, yeah. as you would if you just opened it up to everyone. Before we did accept submissions from everywhere in America, and I didn't necessarily limit it saying, um, you know, we're not accepting international submissions, but uh, this year we really worked hard to spread the word about the festival to try to get out more on the internet, more word of mouth, and, and literally that word of mouth is spread all across the world, you know, in the last <laughs> even six months, it's really unbelievable how fast it went from, 
here in Akron to you know India and Japan and Africa, um, all over Canada. We have a ton of submissions from Winnipeg. Wow. <laughs> people in Uni Winnipeg are shooting like crazy. So I'm hoping that with something like this, with more and more people becoming involved in the local community, and especially bringing more and more people into um, you know, a central festival like this. Sure, we have the Cleveland International, but a lot of people from Akron don't drive to Cleveland. Yeah. And I think this is a good opportunity for people in Akron to see something here in the city, in downtown, that they wouldn't have the, op um, the opportunity to see otherwise. I know that that's what we're excited about, is our whole goal, mission, agenda in this space is to try to get people to come to Akron, even come from Cleveland, because we have a pretty special thing happening here too. That was one of the big things that was a v we we made set up a very low barrier to entry. Like we really want if there's a high school kid out there doing something, we really want to you know see their stuff and give them a chance to compete. You know to In I don't terms of cost to low barrier. To yeah. Entry. Oh yeah. The the submission fee is nominal at best. It doesn't get higher than twenty five bucks, and there's no other there's no other film festival that makes it so easy for everyone to be involved. It's going to be six dollars for an in individual film, an individual feature film, or a group of shorts that will be like 90 minutes or two hours long, and then ten dollars for an entire evening, which would probably be about five hours of films, or twenty-four dollars for the entire four days, which includes three evenings, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and then Sunday afternoon encores of uh, the Beer's Choice, which is a whole other story. We're going to have voting on the films. Oh, that is cool. Among the audience, so... What the audience likes the best will be encored next evening, mm -hmm. or on Sunday. Night. We're going to have um, James Renner from the Free Times, Dave Giffels from the Beacon Journal. Um, who else we can have? Phil, Phil Hoffman uh, from the University of Akron and ZTV. Okay. Miriam Bennett from Tri-C. Uh, Mark Bosco, who's an author from Kent, wrote a book called the... It's a long title. Uh, <laughs> okay, i got to come up with the title. Uh, <laughs> Independent Movie Marketing Handbook. Okay. It's a very good book. I've been reading it. So you can look that up on Amazon. <laughs> We're cool. also going to have Elaine Gurian, Gregarian from The Beacon. I, yeah. I hate to the arts writer. picture her name, but okay. she's an arts writer. She's going to be a judge for um, documentaries. Excellent. So you've got a pedigree group of judges it's not just yeah we like, tried to we wanted yeah. to lend some air of legitimacy yeah one more is dr andrew rudd from malone college okay he runs a film festival there a student film festival mm -hmm. our top prize is going to be avid was nice enough to donate to us a copy of avid express pro so that's a, that's a pretty nice one thousand six hundred dollar software package winner it's all right yeah, yeah that's very yeah, all right. the best feature winner will take that home mm -hmm. well thank you very much for joining us this evening we're very excited to have the Akron Film Festival in Akron, but also to have you in studio. Pretty cool, huh? It's exciting to have something like that happen right here in Akron. I love it. I know. I I'm can't a, wait to go. I'm a total film geek anyway. I can watch hours and hours of movies, and that's exactly what I'm hoping on doing. Movies is, aside from painting, probably one of my favorite mediums. I enjoy film. There's nothing like a good film. I bet the people out there can't wait to see the 48-hour film festival entry from Jay and Todd. Oh, well, you're letting the cat out of the bag, huh? I thought we did in that interview, didn't we? The, oh, yeah, they already know about they it. What am I talking yeah, about? I don't know. Yeah, we are entering the contest. That doesn't guarantee a placement or that we'll even be shown, but... Yeah, we have no pull. You'll get to see it here on Artist Reality, no matter what happens. Yeah, uh, lucky. Yeah. Lucky people. No extra fee, either. It's included with your membership. Hi, I'm Jay Edwards. I'm not a celebrity, but I do play one on TV. That's why I always carry around mace. Well, TV or the internet. Either one. Yeah. Yeah. Webisodes. Webisodes. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Webisode! <laughs> Got another jingle out of Jay. Jingling Jay. Jingling Jay. Well, that's pretty much all we got for this evening. Is it? Yeah, I mean, we talked a lot to those other people. Jay's back to paint and he's very excited. Time for our uh, sign offs. For the sign offs. And for this evening, I'd like to say. Goodbye. Stay real. Be creative. See you next week on Artist Reality. I didn't know you were going to keep going. I'm sorry. You caught me off guard. They tell me go. We'll see you next time.